Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we are testing every single mask on Amazon and just in time, because if you're looking behind me, we are moving locations. So we're trying to get a bunch of these in. Today we are looking at the Kindly Care filtration respirator. Interesting on Amazon. It took me a second to find it. We bought it. Um, couldn't find it because they claim it's this brand Ferradine. This thing's pretty interesting, but let's open up the mask and put it in the clamper. Kindly Care. The actual manufacturer name in China is also Kindly Care. So I thought that was interesting. All right. Ooh, this is almost a real KN95. Found out some interesting things about this particular brand. Oh, and the clamp. So if I got that there. And we will clamp her down and let's let her rip. This is, oh, ah, ah, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out how we're doing this uh, test, more information, I'm going to put a link up there, but just know we're doing the, uh, the NIOSH N95 test. Why are we doing the N95 test on a KN95? That is a great question. They're basically the same standard. Bottom line, we're trying to f let you know if you can trust this brand, which I'm guessing you can't because I was looking at the comments and some people were talking about how this is not a real uh, mask. And then I looked and I Googled it and I found uh, this KN95 uh, recall from the Canadian government. See, Kindly Care Products uh, reason was it's not meeting filtration. So that's exactly what we're meant to test here. But I also, looking at this, can tell you that this is a fake KN95. How do I know that? Well, you need three things to be a real KN95. Number one, you need to say KN95, ding. You need to see GB2626-2006, which they've done twice on there. But you also need to have the manufacturer name. In this case, it would be Kindly Care Products Co. Limited. Don't know why they didn't put it on there. But my question is, if you're not willing to put your manufacturer name, which is really simple on the mask, thus making it so you're violating the standard. What the f All right, so we, um, <laughs> we stopped, we, we did this test many times. This is the, this is weird. This is a very, very weird thing. Um, We, we tested this thing many times and it keeps doing something I've never seen before. I can't quite explain it, but I have some theories. Um, especially since we know this mask has been kicked off of list, it's totally possible, my theories, but honestly, it's a little bit like, you know, are we alone out there extraterrestrial? Well, that's, that's what's happening here. So um, we're gonna do this together live and see what happens, but um, we have re we've stopped the tape and we've recalibrated the machine four or five times now, four or five more times um, with our, our, our calibration fabric. And we've done, we've done the restart up process and we flushed the machine just because we've never seen this before. And I was like, is, this can't be right. It's giving us a weird reading. And what's happening is, well, I, I mean, I'll just, I'll just show you. And we're going to start this again. All right, so Pay attention here, you have this, uh, we have two sensors. There are two sensors in this machine. There's one on the top that counts the number of particulates before they go in, and the number, and the bottom, the down, that counts the number of particulates that get through, okay? So it makes sense, right? The number that's coming in, number's coming out. These are very expensive sensors. Each one costs $6,000 from Thermal Fisher. So this one has to be less, right? But look at that, it just flipped. Now there are more particulates coming through than were pushed in to begin with. That's never happened before and it's a lot. So now the efficiency has dropped to zero, but it's actually less than zero. And if you look at the test curve right here, like all of a sudden it was doing the test, boom, and it's done this every time. I've never seen that before because this shouldn't be possible. Like if you have particulates here and you have a filter here, there ha no matter how bad the filter is, there are less on the other side. That's not what's happening here, there's more. So 
Maybe, especially since this mask has been kicked off, it is soaked with some other particulates already and it's pushing through? I don't know. That's the only thing we can come up with. That or we're, we're all going crazy here. So um, we're gonna mark this as 0%, which is gonna be a record for us. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I, one thing's for sure is I don't even wanna do this smell test because this thing is freaking me out. We opened it up. There is melt blown inside of it. And if I open it, We know it's not a can 95, right? Cause they're not doing the right thing. So they've got spun bond on the outside and then you can see it's melt blown right here. It's stuck to it. So that's the second layer. Now typically can 95 has two layers of melt blown and this one does, but it's separated by a layer of cellulose, which is actually bad. You don't want to see that when that happens. That means it's going to be, there's going to be less filtration, but uh, anyways, I can't pull it apart. Cause it's, it's not terrible melt blown. It's not great melt blown. It's not terrible. But I've seen bad filtration, but I'm not seeing negative filtration. And that's what this has. So this mask is so bad that it's negative. I don't know. Maybe someone, maybe like Ashton Kutcher is about to come in. No? Ashton? I don't know. This is a weird thing. Never, never seen it before. We flushed everything. We recalibrated. Uh, I think this, this mask has got something weird. I would not trust it. Well, just, you know, you're, you're, you're 400 masks in and you think, I can't see anything new. And then kindly care comes along and blows your mind. All right, guys, that was a weird one. Uh, oh, not really sure what I can do now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any ideas about what happened here, uh, you think maybe I'm like missing something that's clearly very obvious, uh, give, give, you know, put it down in the comments and maybe we can figure this out together. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, we're dropping a new video every day at 10 a.m. So I will see you on that next test.